The level 101 is a much harder target than the 100. Luckily, I have a few tips to break this one down for you. Hey everyone, Derpy here. Welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. Similar to the level 100 video, you do want to make sure you are using a Sea Serpent's crew, especially if you have a low evade ship. You also want to make sure you're entering in the north portion of the target out of range of any of these turrets right here because you're going to kill these two right off the bat. This is going to mean you don't have to deal with or engage any of these fast moving torpedo things. It, they're really too much trouble. You shouldn't have to deal with them. They're really quite rude. You don't need to worry about those things at all if you are following what I'm saying right here. In any case, you're going to kill those things at the top right here, just those two turrets. You have to kill them to end the target and then swing all the way around the entire thing down to six o'clock. Ideally, I would kill the turret I'm hovering over right now. It is a quite problematic one, which you will see later in the video. You're also going to kill this gate here. That doesn't matter. They don't give you points and you don't have to kill them to end, the, to end the target. What you are going to do is engage this commander chain gun turret right here at the bottom. You should outrange these things again. It is pretty standard. Just make sure you're staying out of range of these firing arcs right here from these circular turrets. Once this one's dead, you're going to pillow along the bottom of the target again, all the way to this gate right here. Just make sure you shift click the ballistic turret so you stay out of its minimum range. Also notice some of these firing arcs are different sizes. This one is wider and these ones are smaller right here. That shouldn't really mean too much. In any case, you're going to get close to this gate here, which is where the, uh, which is where I would enter the target if there weren't any of those fast moving torpedoes at the, at the top of the target right here. Shoot at these things till they're dead, again outrange them, and then once those are dead you're going to park just forward where my mouse is and wait for these two torpedoes to pass. You do have a little bit of extra wiggle room right here, but your ships are easily fast enough you don't have to worry about them. Once this second mine is passed you're going to click on the commander turret right here and move in to hide in the corner on the right side. What this does is it kills the one thing shooting at you down in this corner here and you're hiding from the inside the minimum range of this one and out of the minimum range of the northern one. This northern one does sometimes do some damage to you so just be aware of that. Now. Once the second mine is passed, you can actually reach this other turret right here before that. But once the second mine is passed, you're going to move close, kill this guy, and it should go down pretty easily. The next bit is pretty tricky. This red turret right here is going to light up with a red arc when it's getting ready to fire. It doesn't shoot at you, but shoots at itself and has a massive splash damage range. Ideally, you won't see any orange projectiles, but if you do, just know that. So do one small loop right here to get this thing woken up, and then do another one right here, get out of range before I can shoot at you, and even a third one just for good measure. I usually do it in two, and I'm usually successful. I just wanted to show you the safe way of doing that to go in and out of range. Now, the thing you need to be aware of for the center of the target is that these things are mostly directional based, as well as the two mines moving right here, and then the last thing is the launcher turret in the middle. You're going to go towards this launcher turret and kill it to the right side of this platform. You're going to do it after this mine moves, but you don't want to get close because it does have a very large range. These things do hurt, it will fire right about now. And if you get hit by a shockwave, which again you need to turn projectile effects on to see those things, I should not get any in this target if I'm lucky, you're going to need to make sure that those are on so you see it. Once this guy is dead here, which you'll notice I did a few things very quickly, I killed this first turret, once it was dead I moved close to the second radioactive one, targeted that inside the minimum range of these two turrets on the left and right I just killed. Now once this is dead, you can calm down a little bit and slow down, kill these three heavy things right here, as well as the unshrouding building I'm just targeting right now, and those things are going to go down pretty quickly and pretty rapidly. We do have the problem turret left up here, we're going to worry about that thing just about now. If you wanted to, you could send one ship or could go around the entire outside of the target and kill it from the north right here. That's too much trouble for me, so even though I would get a lower repair time, I'm just going to click on it to move close right here and shoot at it. It is going to take a few volleys and you're going to get hit a few times in the process right here. Hopefully your flagship stun goes off and you can kill that one. Now you're going to move into the right side here and grab this one heavy turret. You don't need to worry about any of these mines right here. They will activate if I move further, but you don't need to go in here because you already killed these two turrets at the top, which is again why you're kind of watching these videos, you're learning these tricks like this. Target the final radioactive launcher turret right here. You should always be shooting at them, and ideally it would never even get off its second volley. You're usually not quick enough, so it usually gets off two volleys. Don't worry about that too much. 
kill the last radioactive turret right here, and that will be the entire target done, unless you miss something which you can press S to come find. Notice you don't have to kill these gates or anything else like that. Let's go ahead and check the damage, the battle report, and of course the build. Like I said, this is harder than the 101. I have gotten damages as high as over an hour and as low as about 30 minutes, although Kixai is continually changing with and playing with these targets even as late as 11 p.m. Eastern Time on the first day. This is down to 16 minutes of damage, which is by far the best run I've ever gotten on this thing. I think they just got the damage again because I should not be getting results this low. It is likely not instant repair. Notice that the hit points left 15.2, 14.5, 15.5, and 15.6. This 14.2 left probably got damaged much more than the others just because that's how these targets tend to work. We have really high damage projectiles and really um, concentrated damage on a few ships until the next salvo fires. If you do have questions on that, go ahead and let me know. I did explain that fairly well in my level 100 video, so check that one out if you have not already. If you have any questions on what I've shown you so far, go ahead and leave a comment below, and I will, of course, make sure to get back to you. With that said, I want to go ahead and say a huge thank you to all the channel members whose names appear on screen now. These people are really why I'm still around, playing Battle Pirates and making these videos. With that said, and until next time, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.